As soon as the kids see a drum, they just, they're just drawn to it. It led us in and out of battles and rituals and celebrations. The drummer was going to be up front and, and took the shot. I was 19 years old and I was in Chicago at McCormick Place and I was in, attending a trade show. Mr. Deans comes out and, I, and he goes, hello folks, I'm the world's fastest drummer. And just like yesterday, I heard, oh yeah, what machine did you use? And that was the legendary Buddy Rich, the greatest drummer to ever live. And Buddy was standing there with his cigarette and his toupee and his turtleneck. We got the world's fastest drummer, the world's greatest drummer. They're arguing with each other and it was just like conduit. I mean, electricity going through conduit, it just went through my body. What machine? If we had a machine, what a great show. Boo really worked hard on getting this whole movement to where it is now. I mean, he's the force behind it. The WFD came into existence with um, a good friend of mine, Johnny Rabb. I was introduced um, kind of on accident because it was sitting out, the first prototype of the drumometer. He had told me in the past what it did, so I just kind of assumed it was so easy to operate that I just started doing it to see what would happen. Johnny just throws down, and he runs like 860. And he said, did you really run? above 800. He just keeps going up, just keeps getting faster and faster and faster. So then we really worked together trying to develop it to try to be the first to pass, you know, 1,000 strokes per minute. This machine that is now has to be the drumometer is what calculates the score. It's uh, got a piazzo trigger, so you've got a surface, a pad or drum head. This trigger either goes on top, and now in modern times we've got them underneath the head. You've got a cable that comes out and goes into a box, the drumometer. And every time you hit the pad or the head, that counts as a stroke. Now, you know, over the years there's been big events for it out in LA, and we are continuing to uh, just get this whole movement going. First time I met Boo, I had, I had no clue who he was. He, he came up, started talking to me. I, I really wasn't expecting this kind of Amish looking guy, big spectacles and long beard. Matt Smith showed great, great signs of being a winner and finally came and participated at a couple WFDs and won, then came, uh, came to the World Finals and won that. And so he just worked his way up from, you know, the bedroom right straight up to being a world champion. That's what I'm basically known as, you know, Matt Smith, world's fastest drummer. It's a rare opportunity, you know, to be like a world record holder you know, when you're like 16 or something. It's a good stepping stone and it really gets a lot of other kids out there interested in like playing fundamentals. The shorter you can cut that stop point, the faster that stick's gonna move. The drumometer can count anything you play, so if you're buzzing like this, you know, you can get like eight strokes just by doing that. Single stroke is right, left, right, left. Because, you know, singles is really hard to do for a minute. You know, people are more relaxed when they do a bus stroke or double strokes. Speed is a result of technique. So a bullet just doesn't suddenly speed through the air. It has to be mechanically and technically propelled by some means. So everyone gets hung up on the art form versus speed, and they miss the fact that all the drumometer does is going to gauge your technique. You know, I think that right now, to be honest, when it comes to the new world record, th these guys are just absolutely blazing with their hands and feet. Like with me and Mangini, I mean, I'm always striving to beat his record, you know, his traditional record with 1126. I've gotten a lot of attention, like on drum forms, a lot of negative media tubes, and they'll just slam WFD, they'll just say just horrible things about Boo, me, Mangini, saying turning music into a sport and all that. Because that's the main thing about WFD right now is like, is it sport or music? People are trying to like categorize it. And of course it's not music. I mean, it's a sport. It's for people to have fun with. Boo's just kept it still grassroots, but it's really grown larger than you can imagine.